Hello everyone, today we are going to learn about closures in the python. First we will learn about the nested function in the python. So suppose I have a function, this is my outer function and inside this outer function suppose I have a variable num equal to minus 1 and then I have an inner function printing the number variable and what I am doing inside this uh, outer function I am calling this inner function okay so outer function is completed i have outer function inside outer function i have a variable number and i have a function inner function and in this inner function i am printing the variable and i am calling this inner function so let me call the outer function also let's run this program and see the output line by line so at line number 9 i am calling the outer function outer function will will be called and execution will go to line number 2 and I am declaring a variable number equal to minus 1 so number will be minus 1 then I am declaring a function inner function so inner function will be this one okay and I am calling this inner function so execution will go to line number 4 and then it will come to line number 5 and I am printing the number here. So number will be printed as minus 1. It's minus 1 because uh, when, uh, when I am trying to print this number, it will look for the value. It will look for the value in the nearest scope. In the local scope, in, inside the inner function, we don't have value of number. So it will look for into the parent function. So it will look for the value of number into the parent function and number is de defined as a minus 1 so it will print the minus 1 instead of calling this function here itself I am returning this function return and so if I call the outer function then the variable number will be defined as a minus 1 and this function inner will be defined and I am returning the inner function so I have to accept this inner function okay into some variable so like print print num variable i am accepting the inner function okay and if i want to execute this inner function then what i have to do i have to call this print num function also let's run this program and see the output so it will print minus one so this is known as a closure Let's run this program and see the execution line by line. So firstly, I have outer function. So outer function will be declared in the global scope. Then I have a print number variable. And in print number variable, I'm calling this outer function. So outer function will be called. In outer function, I'm declaring a number variable. Okay, number variable will be declared. See here, then I'm, I'm defining the function also, inner function. So number function will be inner function will be defined inside this outer function so number variable and this inner function will have a scope inside the outer function only once the execution of outer function is completed these variable will be destroyed inner function will be destroyed and number will be destroyed and i am returning the inner function okay so i am returning this inner function see here inner function i am returning So inner function is returned and print number variable will have inner function only. See, this this inner function and return uh, number variable is called. But this print function, print number variable has inner function only. See here, if I, if I call the print number function, print number variable, then eventually it will call the inner function. Okay, execution of outer function is already completed. With the help of print number function, I am calling the inner function only. So execution will go to line number 4. And then it will come to line number 5. And it will print the number minus 1. Okay. So even though this outer function execution was completed, I am still able to access the number variable value. Number variable was present in the outer function scope only. And execution of outer function was completed at line number 9 itself and in nine, at line number 9 I have returned this inner function inside the print number variable and I am calling this print number function. So indirectly I am calling the inner function only. So 
so in inner function i am printing the number variable so even though execution of outer function was completed execution of outer function was completed even though the number variable value is still there okay we are still able to access the number variable value minus 1 and we are able to print the number variable value after the execution of outer function also so this is known closer binding this data binding this data to this method this function is known as closure binding this data this number variable data to this inner function is known as closure so suppose if i want to increment the value by 2 like number okay if i directly run this program then it will give an error because what i am doing i am i am uh, creating a number variable okay this another local variable number i am creating another local variable number and i am using this local variable number with plus 2 this number variable is different and this local variable number is different and i am adding this number variable with plus 2 but this number variable itself this local number variable itself is not defined so it will throw an error let's see run this program and see the error so initially uh, my outer function will be called then inside the outer function i am declaring a number variable i am and and declaring the inner function okay an inner function is returned into the print number variable and i am calling print number function so indirectly inner function will be called and inside inner function what i am doing i am using a local variable number so this number variable is different and this number variable is different this is a local variable to inner function this number variable is a local variable to inner function this local variable number equal to local variable number plus 2 but this local variable number is itself not defined so it will throw an error see unbound error local variable number reference before assignment okay so we can resolve this error because we want to use this number variable we don't want to create another local variable inside the inner function so what we can do we can use non local keyword number so in non non local keyword it means we are we want to reference this outer function parent function variable non local number uh, keyword will say use this outer function parent function variable so now let's run this program and see the output so outer function will be defined in the global scope okay global frame then i am calling the outer function so execution will go to line number 3 number function will be defined inside the outer function then inner function will be defined inside the outer function okay then i am returning the inner function and i am saving the inner function into the print number variable so print number variable is defined in the global frame and i am calling the print number function so indirectly i am calling the inner function and inside inner function so execution will go to inner function only so inside inner function i am saying number equal to number plus 2 and in the in the outer scope in the closer scope number was minus 1 now minus 1 plus 2 will be 1 and i am printing the number variable i am printing the 1 so number will be 1 see number will become 1 and i am printing the number variable so now one will be printed i can call this function multiple times print number print so outer function will be defined in the global frame then we have print number variable okay and in print number variable we are calling the outer function okay so number variable will be defined inside the outer function okay and inner inner function will be defined inside the outer function only okay and at line number 12 we have written the inner function inside the print number variable and i am we are calling the print number variable it means indirectly we are calling the inner function only okay so execution will go to line number 4 then line number 5 Six will be executed in line number six. What we are doing? Number equal to number plus two. So number was minus one here. See number was minus one because here closer concept will come. Even though outer function execution is completed, we will still remember the variables of outer function. 
नंबर इनर फंक्शन वेरिएबल विल हैव द बाइंडिंग ऑफ आउटर पेरेंट फंक्शन वेरिएबल ओके बिकॉज क्लोजर कंसेप्ट विल कम इन टू द पिक्चर सो नंबर इक्वल टू नंबर प्लस टू नंबर वाज माइनस वन प्लस माइनस वन प्लस टू सो नंबर वन विल नंबर विल बिकम वन सो नंबर हैज बिकम वन एंड वी आर प्रिंटिंग द नंबर एट टाइम नंबर सेवन सो वन विल बी प्रिंटेड ओके At line number thirteen, we are calling we are calling again this print number print number variable. So inner function execution will start. Okay, so it will go to line number six, and we are saying number equal to number plus two. Number was one, one plus two it will become three. So it will print three. C three is printed. then again execution will come to line number 14 we are again calling this inner function indirectly we are calling inner function only 3 plus 2 it will be it will become 5 and it will print 5 in the output screen so we have seen the closure concept this even though outer function scope is gone even though outer function scope is gone even then also it will have it will have binding with this inner function this number variable will have binding with this inner function okay so inner function will be able to access the number variable so this is known as closure binding this number variable data to to the function inner function is known as closure so with the so we can, i can we, we are printing 135 odd number so i can change This function name to odd number, print odd number, and what I can I can do I can call this print odd number function in into a for loop for i in range five print odd number. So I am calling this print odd number function five times. So so first five odd numbers will be printed one three five seven. Nine. First five odd numbers will be printed. Let's execute this program and see the output. So outer function will be defined in the global frame. Frame. Then we are uh, calling the outer function, and so number will be defined. Number variable will be defined in the outer function scope, and inner function will be defined in the outer function scope. And we are returning the inner function, and we are saving inner function into the print odd number variable. So print odd number variable will be defined in the global scope. It will have access to the inner function. And for i in i in i range five, okay, we are running into a loop. Initially, i will be zero. We are calling the print odd number function. So print odd number function will be called, and it will print one. Then again, print odd number function will be called. It will print three because one plus two will will become three. And again, print odd number function will be called. Three plus two it will become five. So it will print five. Again, print odd number function will be called. So it will become five plus two. If it will become seven, so it will print seven. Again, print odd number function will be called. So it will become seven plus two nine. It will print nine. So we have printed one three five seven nine five times. So for loop execution will end because we are uh, iterating through this for loop for five times only, and we are able to print the five odd numbers successfully. This is how we can use the closures. Using this closure, we can print the odd numbers, and we can use closures in other functionalities also. So this was all about closures in the Python. I hope you understood it. Please like, share, and subscribe my channel.